Well, Prince Harry's Invictus Games kicked off today in Orlando. The competition gives wounded veterans the chance to battle it out in various sports. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us live from the Invictus Games in Orlando. How is it going out there, Ted? Natalia, right now, thousands of people are trying to get into the stadium for the opening ceremony. Look on this side here. All the people on this side here, these are the fans that want to get in to see all of those uh, athletes. Over on the other side here, what you see here, this is all family members who are trying to get in there, too. They're going to be on the field as the teams are welcomed here in those welcoming ceremonies, the opening ceremonies. Prince Harry, of course, is going to be one of the headliners there, along with Michelle Obama, Morgan Freeman. But the big stars in all this are those athletes. In wheelchairs with prosthetic limbs or walking with canes, they're athletes ready to compete here for the 2016 Invictus Games in Orlando. I was shot in Lebanon. I was serving as a United Nations military observer in 2006. Roberto Punzo was shot while serving in the Italian Army. He may be in a wheelchair, but his days as an athlete are far from over. I'm competing in archery and wheelchair rugby. He, like all the others, are here to win. 500 wounded military men and women and veterans from 14 countries are here for the Games. The UK's Prince Harry put together the Invictus Games in 2014. For the athletes, it's a chance to show the world a serious injury doesn't mean you have to stop pursuing your passion. For anybody with a disability, just um, just, just forget about it and um, yeah, just crack on with life as normal, really, and do what you enjoy. And the athletes aren't the only ones getting into that competitive spirit. Hey, Prince Harry, remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. Boom. Oh, really? Please. Boom. Your Majesty, Prince Harry, President and Mrs. Obama. Boom. Orlando, Invictus Games. Canada's ready. Can't get enough of those videos. All right, what you're seeing here, those lines, it's been 30 minutes. This line has been moving, people flowing in there. We're talking thousands of people waiting to get inside. That ceremony uh, begins at 8 o'clock tonight, and then everything here wraps up again on Thursday. They'll have a big closing ceremony as well. Uh, some of the big events that we're going to see here sitting volleyball, track and field, as well as basketball and rugby. Live in Orlando, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.